Hey, what's up guys? Alan here with EatSleepTray.net. I'm uh, going to be bringing you the watch list for the week of December 7, 2015. We finally made it back to the month of December. Um, this year has completely flown by and uh, was just a really good year in terms of trading. Uh, excited for the December month as December is usually a pretty big month and so is January into the new year so I'm definitely looking forward to that. Um, so sit tight we're gonna go over the SPY and as well as some stocks from our watch list this week and we'll be back in just a second to do that. All right, guys, so let's take a look at the SPY first. Um, last time we talked about it, we were looking for some strength right here and the continuation towards that uh, 213. And on the 1st of December, it looked like that, uh, you know, that is what we were going to get. And uh, everybody thought, of course right here is bullish time to buy it's a guaranteed trade um, at least back up to our prior highs and then of course when everybody thinks that a trade is for certain the opposite almost uh, always happens and we had a big sell-off that uh, following day on the second and um, <coughs> continued right in on the third so um, now when everybody went from bullish to oh crap we just slammed through our 20 day and possibly could be putting new lows on a three day uh, sell off which you know most things tend to happen in threes and then the exact uh, opposite happened on the fourth or Friday and the stock came right back up with a huge bullish candle and <clears throat> big relative volume. So uh, it was a little bit crazy last week. Everybody was going back and forth uh, on the SPY. So for me right now, um, this thing could definitely go either direction. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on it next week and uh, see if A, we start heading back down to our 201 area or if we can push back towards that uh, that 213 area. Alright guys, first up on the list is going to be NUTR carryovers from last week's watch list and we were looking for the break above 25 which we did get and actually had a really nice push all the way through 26. Um, would have been difficult to make a trade like that um, but if you got lucky and got in the day before and locked your profits on the breakout day then you were probably likely to at least get something on that um, but I'm gonna keep this on watch as we remain above the 20 day here and looks like we could possibly be reversing and I'm gonna look for another break through that 25 area and uh, with a little bit more conviction and look for that continuation back above 26 next up on the list is BEAT another carryover from last week um, we were watching this wedge here and as you can see uh, it's continued to consolidate here um, so I'm gonna keep watching it nice candle here see if this is our bottom start heading back up and get through our 50 and 20 uh, I like to see the 20 bounce off the 50 and continue uh, upward so watch this next week to see if we uh, get that breakout on the wedge that we've been looking for um, I got two more carryovers. First is PCN. Um, we got the breakout on the resistance area here that we were watching over these prior highs. Um, so that was right around 14 and uh, got a little pullback. So almost making a nice little flag set up here. Our 20 and 50 are touching. So of course we're going to want to see that 20 uh, head back up and hopefully break over prior highs on a possible uh, flag breakout here. And last one we're going to carry over from last week is SWHC, Smith & Wesson. Right on Friday, we had a pretty good little pop um, breaking out of this pullback and put us right up to that 19 area that we were looking for. Had a high of 19.06. Um, ended up closing at 18.99, so just below 19. Not that big of a deal. 
um, great volume, and I'm going to be looking on Monday for that uh, you know conviction push over 19, and look to get a position on this as we break out to new highs. All right, new up on the list is going to be DHT. Um, this is a stock that we have traded before, and we actually traded this breakout here. Um, worked really well and had a huge push, probably a little bit of a squeeze, and uh, kind of just been hanging around after that. And now we've started to put some bottoms in, consolidate, working on some higher lows and some lower highs. So going to watch this wedge. I uh, still might need some time to finish uh, consolidating within it, but the relative volume is what caught my eye on it. We've got good volume, and this was a prior resistance area that we were using on this chart from the first time that we traded it, and as you can see, it is still relevant to the chart even months later, um, having a hard time getting through that $8 area, so maybe just watching that for uh, a possible breakthrough and continuation. Next up on the list, NPTN. So I uh, got a nice little uh, cup and handle formation trying to form out. Um, got a little run right here and that breakthrough 1043, the high relative volume, that's what brought it up on the scanner. Um, so definitely going to be looking for continuation into uh, next week and possible breakout to new highs over this 1115 area. Um, it's trending up nicely right now, putting in higher lows. So if we hold on to that trend and remain above the 20 day, um, I see that $11 break could come uh, in the near future. Another one we're going to be looking at is BLOX. This was a uh, earnings winner that's been pretty beat down, as you can see. Um, had a huge gap up into the uh, positive earnings and has started to consolidate a little bit right here, or you could say, you know, flag out a little bit. And Friday got a nice little push above these prior highs and managed to close up. So I'm going to be looking for a uh, momentum continuation into this one on Monday um, and see if we don't see this one go higher on a post earnings breakout. Next, let's take a look at NVAX, uh, another one we've traded quite a few times and been successful with. But what we're looking at now is this um, channel that we've been trading in right here between 6.15 and 8.30. And uh, we just recently broke out of that channel. Um, we got our cross of the 20 over 50 and going to be watching this uh, $9 area to see if we can get a breakout there and uh, try to get a part of that if we see that occur. Um, so you got a little uh, bullish harami there from Friday's candle and support after breaking through. Uh, resistance is holding up well here at the top of the channel so we could be you know forming a new channel which oftentimes stocks trade in stages uh, you know like this will be one stage in this channel and it'll create a a new stage in a channel to trade up here before breaking higher uh, so again we're gonna watch that nine dollar area and see if we can get a break higher on that next up on the list is BLDR traded this one quite a few times um, ended up trading this breakout here um, for a short gain, but it did do what we wanted it to do, and uh, we were watching the break over the 1550 area. Ended up getting in on a gap and sold it, uh, sold it above 16, but didn't really hit a big profit. Really was looking for a bigger move than that, um, and now we've sold off since then, kind of consolidated around had a nice gap on I believe that was an earnings report and has since come down filled the gap and kinda of started to bounce off of that um, interesting thing on this chart is the 20 day is still trending up even though the stock is slightly below it so I'm gonna look for a reversal here and a move back towards that fourteen dollar area get above these prior highs and we might start working our way um, back up to this area here around fifteen or fifteen fifty Next up on the list is JASO. So this one we've been uh, watching for a little bit. It was on our watch list two weeks ago. And uh, it's 
continued to consolidate it um, exactly as we were expecting. Just broke out of its resistance area here around 885s with conviction on Friday. So that was great. Going to be looking for a continuation towards 930 and another possible breakout uh, through that resistance area. So good one to watch on Monday as well. Alright guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos. Also, check out our website, eatsleeptrade.net. From there, you can follow us on Twitter, like our Facebook page, stay up to date on all the stocks that we are watching and trading. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.